Kelly O'Hara in Cosi Fan Tutte, credits Sarah Krulwich. The New York Times Kendrick Lamar makes his television acting debut on Power, and Bruce Willis gets roasted. What's on TV GREAT performances at the Met 12 p.m. On PBS, check local listings. Mozart's classic comedy, Cosi Fan Tutte, was originally set in 18th century Naples, but this new production from the Metropolitan Opera moves the action to 1950s Coney Island. In show, young lovers carouse, deceive each other and give in to seduction amid sword swallowers, a strong man, a fire eater and a contortionist. Kelly O'Hara, who has effortlessly crossed the barrier between Broadway and opera throughout her career, plays the scheming maid Despina. In his review for the New York Times, Anthony Tomasini called it a colorful, inventive, sometimes riotous, sometimes surreal new production, and named it a critic's pick. Power 8 p.m. On Stars. This soapy crime drama is beloved by the hip-hop community. In an interview this week, Wiz Khalifa said that, Power, would be the one show he would choose to watch if he were stranded on a deserted island. In this episode, Kendrick Lamar will make his acting debut opposite 50 Cent. Mr. Lamar may have limited experience in acting, but his expressiveness, ease on camera and commitment to character are more than apparent in his music videos like God is Gangsta and These Walls, Naked and Afraid of Sharks 9 p.m. On Discovery, it was only a matter of time before Discovery rolled two of its biggest properties into one. Five former, naked and afraid, contestants will be placed, in the buff, on a Caribbean island devoid of food. To sustain themselves, they'll have to wade into the water where bull sharks, tiger sharks and hammerhead sharks roam free. Image Demi Moore and Bruce Willis in Comedy Central Roast of Bruce Willis, credit Frederick M. Brown, Getty Image's Comedy Central Roast of Bruce Willis 10 p.m. On Comedy Central, we live in an age of online volatility. Whether this climate has anything to do with Comedy Central's roast series is pure speculation, but President Trump, who conducts his own roasts on Twitter nearly every day, did star in one special seven years ago. This edition turns its barrel toward Mr. Willis. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who played a young version of Mr. Willis's character in Hooper, serves as MC, while Christopher Walken, Dennis Rodman, Edward Norton and Mr. Willis's ex-wife Demi Moore, stop by to exchange unpleasantries. From left, Jack Black, Paul Rudd, Jason Schwartzman and Justin Long as the Beatles in Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, credits Gemma Lamana, Columbia Pictures Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, 2007 on Netflix. There are good British accents, like Meryl Streep's in The Iron Lady, and then there are bad ones, like Dick Van Dyke's in Mary Poppins, and then there's whatever Jack Black attempts in this movie while trying to impersonate Paul McCartney. The rest of the fake musical biopic, which leaves Netflix on August 1st, is equally absurd. The film follows the fictional rockabilly star Dewey Cox, John C. Riley, as he takes off every trope of the biopic genre, overnight stardom, illicit romance, drug addiction and redemption.